I hope everybody's healthy and happy. Um, uh, we'll get uh, started, we'll call to order. Um, this meeting is being recorded um, as per the governor's statue. Uh, what is it, Pete? 7B, I think. As statue 7B. So everything you say and do are, is recorded here for prosperity. Um, Let's get started, Pete. Development project updates. And again, you can keep this stuff kind of lean and mean, whatever is really kind of rational or reasonable that we need to uh, get into, but development project updates. I, um, I, I spoke with Marty Kenny about the uh, occupancy at the Borden. Um, he was very pleased with where they are um, with uh, the tenants in the apartments. I think the first building, I think he may only have three or four left to lease yeah. and in the um the new building uh of course i don't have the numbers in front of me but um mark was he half occupied or something like that it was no he was least. over 50 percent between yeah. the two buildings he was so 88 very, out of 116 or something he was more than 50 percent yeah so he's very pleased given everything that's going on in the world um uh how um you know it's been embraced by uh, uh tenants so um the demolition permit for the former tilted kilt across the street there has been issued. So that building will probably uh, come down maybe before our next meeting. Um, so that project will be um, underway. Um, the medical office buildings just behind the Borden, uh, the Puritan, um, they are under construction with the site work. They got to do a lot of site work to prep for the building. So that if you've noticed that that work is uh, underway, um, those are probably some of the some of the highlights. Um, the Lenoci Italian Kitchen on Main Street. Uh, I think they're they were trying to open up before the end of July, so that may be pushing it, but that should be opening uh, very shortly uh, as well. You may have seen the Charles Restaurant has opened. Uh, if you haven't been there, so. Uh, he's uh, been very well received. He had a nice review in the Hartford Current. Um, so uh, quite a few things uh, happening right now. Yeah, all good stuff. Um, it, it's kind of, it goes towards the facade improvement, which we don't really have any, but I know Lenoche was requesting more funds, but he has rescinded that request. Is that right? Uh, for the time being, I, 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 they may still uh, revisit that uh, as the project goes forward, but uh, for the purposes of today's agenda, they did uh, withdrew, withdraw it, so there's nothing uh, pending on that anymore. Um, Can I just say, um, I did speak with Blaze Hardy at uh, the Charles when I was there one night, and um, he may come back to EDIC for facade for a patio and uh, landscaping and whatever. Just to let you know, I had suggested that he might be interested in doing that. Okay. Um, Peter, what is the, uh, did we ever get uh, from legal what the balance was for facade or is that still a I think it's, mystery? It's, Matt, it's, I, I, I'm waiting for the, the finance director to, to weigh in on that one. Um, one of the folks who does the numbers um, couldn't give me a, uh, straight answer um so i've asked I've, I've kicked it up the ladder here and i will be trying to get that to defined by the finance director um they're claiming uh, so it's not necessarily a problem they're claiming we have more money than i believe we have so i don't want to overextend us and then find a problem uh later on down the road um so it's uh, by my accounting we have in the neighborhood of 60 Five sixty-four thousand. They're claiming we have uh, over a hundred thousand. So um, I probably should defer to the financial people, but I, I I'm, I'm going to get it uh, nailed down by the finance director. So because there were a bunch of different sources of the funds, and uh, different accounting is done for that. So um, that's why there's a little bit of confusion on that. I know we had some um, that were in limbo. Um, is there potentially one that we you think might still be active that is not active? I no, know we, I, I went I went through their list of uh, I had them give me a full printout uh, of uh, uh, everything we've spent, uh, whatever we've encumbered, 
things that were set up in a PO. So I've looked at it a couple of different ways. So, but once again, I, I defer to the finance director. If he uh, tells us we have more money, then um, I, I will defer to him and be happy to uh, take that news. We also may be getting uh, an infusion of about 15, 14 or 15,000 into the program that we were not uh, accounting for. Um, the um, heirloom market is probably going to be sold and we gave them, I think 50,000 uh, under the 10 year program and they still have a couple years left on that. So they have to pay back the remaining balance. So, um, so that would also be uh, good news for us. Okay, anything else on development project updates? Peter, where does, Car Peter, where does Carmen Anthony stand? Um, very good question. Um, we had, uh, if you recall, we had met with him, trying to encourage him, you know, to move that along a little faster. We also introduced him to the CPACE program, the financing for uh, energy improvements, and uh, nothing has seemed to move that project along. The problem there is he does just enough work so that the building department can't, um, you know, revoke the permit or, you know, threaten some fines and things like that. So um, unfortunately, it's continuing to just crawl along. Peter, the um, drive-in theater, is that still going to happen? It seems to be getting, be getting pretty late in the summer and there's not really doing a lot of work there. I think he's he's interested in um, not just doing this this year. He's talking about doing this in the long term and adding it as a as an attraction. Uh, I uh, communicated with him earlier this week. Um, unlike some of the other folks that are setting up in other communities and parking lots, he is investing in um, projection technology that would allow him to show first run movies that are in the movie theaters now versus second run stuff that you could see on TV or uh, HBO or whatever. So um, that equipment um, had to be special ordered uh, since it's also gonna be outside, it's a different kind of animal. So um, it's been delayed be because he has basically decided to upgrade to the the, the best technology that's out there, uh, but he's still committed to doing it. Uh, it's just uh, taking uh, longer than he had uh, anticipated. So you may also, uh, wh while you brought that up, he's um, he has the other um, restaurant in the building, the smaller restaurant, uh, not the river. Um, and he's doing work on the waterfront where he's gonna have an outside venue as well. He's converting all of that into a Mexican restaurant. He gave me the name, I, I don't have it in front of me, but just in case you hear that, uh, he's gonna be pro providing another uh, restaurant service there uh, that specializes in Mexican food, uh, both outside and inside as the colder months come. So just be aware of that. Was it the Rio? Was that the name? I think it's Tel to I'm you know I'm gonna butcher the name, so I'm, I'm hesitant to even try it. But I think it's Tequilo del Rio, yeah. something like that. Don't quote me on that. Tequila River. Yeah, something like Crimea Tequila <laughs> River, something like that. All right, I love it. Um, all right, very good. Any other questions on development project updates? Um, I just had a question about uh, heirloom. I wasn't actually aware that they were being sold. Um, when did that come about? Has that been going on? Well, right now there it's owned by uh, Baker Creek Seed right. Company, the original buyers. Right. right. So um, they have been discussing with the uh, with the heirloom market people buying okay. the property. So okay, great. Um, that is uh, happening as literally as we speak. I think. Hopefully, knock on wood, there's no uh, glitches with that. So. Okay, thank you. Great, Pete, reopening Weathersfield. So um, I don't know if you saw, but let me, uh, let me go out in the hallway one sec. I'll be right back. I wanted to show you one thing.
This is like uh, Saturday Night Live where they take you through the studio. Exhibit A. So you probably heard the governor's pushing back on, on the phase three openings for bars and things like that. So that's thrown a few things uh, up in the air. We're still uh, processing outside uh, seating uh, permits. Um, so there has been, uh, it's, it's been challenging getting the right information from some of the restaurants. You know, they provide some bare bones information and it requires us to go back and forth several times. That's why uh, there's still a few pending that have not been issued yet. Um, so you may not have, there's a couple out there that will pop up uh, very shortly. Um, so those are the two highlights. The, the other thing that uh, we did is we worked with, and you, I don't know if you've seen this publication, but we worked with uh, Hartford News, Hartford Publication. They um, created uh, this uh, little newspaper, which they distributed uh, throughout the community. We have a supply here at Town Hall, but it's basically an inventory of the businesses that uh, have opened um, during this whole thing, uh, has phone numbers, contact information. He's got them grouped by different business sectors. So it turned out to be a nice little publication. Uh, it also promotes our shop local logo. We had him incorporate that. Uh, they financed it uh, by selling ads primarily. We did give them on behalf of the town a small contribution to help offset some of the costs, but uh, it, it turned out pretty well. And if you have not uh, seen it, there's also an electronic copy of it, but it, he basically distributed it, yeah, I think 5,000 of them throughout uh, the business community. So just so you're aware of that as well. Um, Pete, with regards to the, the phase three side of it, you know, we did have that one um, webinar, if you will, uh, which I thought was pretty successful. Um, is that something we should consider with some of the, or I mean, I guess more dust maybe need to settle with regards to what's going to happen with phase three? Or do you think now would be an interesting time to communicate to the, to the business owners that are affected? any data or dirt that we've got that might be apropos right now, or is that something maybe we should wait on? I, th I think it's worthy of, uh, of considering. Yeah. Um, you know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a lot of work for us to organize that and, and get the word out. I think we, a uh, couple people claimed they didn't hear about it. I'm not sure how they didn't, but we really tried to promote it to the extent we can. Um, you know, now that the phase one and phase two businesses are open, it's a smaller, concentrated uh, number of businesses. So it probably wouldn't be that hard to target them, reach out to them and make them aware that we're gonna provide this information. Um, I think we're still waiting for some of that information. So the timing um, probably isn't immediate, but um, we could certainly see what they anticipate in terms of the next date uh, and then time something accordingly. Well, I, I would definitely like to throw that idea into the ring. I, I kind of agree. We might just be regurgitating stuff that's already out there right now without anything new. So, um, but if there is a point within the next week or two, everything seems to change almost daily. But um, that's something I think I'd like to do again. I think it's not only is it, it was helpful to the community, but I think it's just good PR for RDA and EDIC to be out there doing as much as we can um regarding that so we'll we'll put that on the table um item c self-storage uh, moratorium so i i anticipate having a draft of the final proposed uh, zoning regulation amendments um early next week um we had talked about scheduling one more meeting uh, before we we finalize it and, and recommend uh, changes to the Planning and Zoning Commission. Um, so I think we were thinking not next week, but the beginning of the following week. July 21st, right? Okay. So that's a Tuesday. July 21st at 9 a.m. is what I have on the calendar. Okay. And you were um, going to get something to us, hopefully um, sometime next week. Yep. for us to review. And anybody who is going to be on the call, please um, um, take the time to review um, what Peter is sending out. It's for those of you that were on the, um, the call a week ago, um, we have a, we have 
we've given Pete guidance on what we want it to look like, and he's going to be taking um, information from other cities with regards to or other towns and cities um, with regards to moratorium and really um, putting together what we think is a, a very um, um, thoughtful package that we can submit to P&Z um, around the modification um, of that moratorium. Um, so again, you'll have something in your inbox from Peter. Peter, do you want, do you have a date? Do you think, I hate to hold your feet to the fire on anything, but um, would we have that by midweek next week, you think, or the end of the week? Yeah, I, I would think uh, no later than Wednesday, maybe before that. Um, and the reason for that schedule is we need to have the, the public hearing um, no later than the September 1st PNZ meeting in order to, you know, comply with the, uh, the moratorium, which expires shortly after that. Yep. Okay, so guys, July 24th, that's a Tuesday, is that right? I don't have my calendar in front of me, but yeah. I think, is that right? Okay, 9 a.m. Yep. Okay, um, facade improvement, we have nothing on that right now. Is that right, Pete? Right, as they say, I'll just, I'll get, uh, a more definitive number from the finance director so that uh, once and for all, there's no question about what we've got left in the pot. Um, Joe's the, the one we did approve for the Berlin Turnpike, uh, he's he started work up there uh, to get that uh, underway. So he was very eager to get, get going on that. Um, so you'll probably see activity going on there. Uh, the Linoches may come back, um, but we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Okay. Um, Mr. Evans, I don't think is with us uh, for a report um, to our council. I'm not sure Mr. Penelo is with us um, at this. Do you have anything, Peter? Do you think that uh, Gary or think, Mr. Uh, or Pat think, Penelo would add? I think Pat's here with us. Yeah, I'm here. Pat's there, yeah. Somewhere. Oh, is he? Yeah. Where do I see him? I'm on my phone. Oh, okay. Pat, I apologize. I don't see you on a little box here. That's okay. It's okay. Not nothing. Nothing really new to report. Um, you know, things uh, obviously in the summer we kind of cool off as far as heavy heavy lifting items after the budget's done. So um, I'm just I'm I'm more interested to see how this uh, this moratorium moratorium ends up playing out. Okay, great. Any? Do you have any specific questions on that, Pat? Um, or are you going to plan on participating in that meeting on the yeah, 21st? I'll, I'll, I'll be at that meeting. Um, you know, I've, I've been talking with my father. Um, he showed me some of the plans for a potential self storage with the retail in front. So I think at this point, I'm, I'm really just open to any and all suggestions um, as far as either moving forward with the moratorium and uh, pursuing a different option, or if that option is actually on the table, what it would ultimately end up looking like. But either way, I'm kind of looking forward just to stopping uh, this, this in limbo uh, of, of what we're doing with the thousand Celestine, because this has been, uh, how long has it been vacant? 20 something years. I'm not sure you were born Pat um, uh, for as long as it's been vacant. <laughs> um, but anyway, yes, it's a long time. Um, uh, so, and, you know, we um, very, very casually, um, we've had um, some conversations with the owner and potential developer uh, on that spot. Um, uh, nothing concrete, no pun intended, uh, but um, uh, certainly we're, we're, the idea is to exhaust any and all opportunities uh, with the owner there. Um, and if we do everything that we can possibly do on our end, both legislatively and economically, and we can't get a deal together. Um, it's just one of those things that we'll just move on to um, the next item. And I think that there's been some um, um, movement, if you will, um, on on Metaplex, on the ownership there, um, uh, looking to do something. Again, very, very preliminarily, um, uh, very preliminary conversations, but. Um, the goal with us, the way I, I see EDIC and RDA is, let's do as much as we possibly can, whatever we got in our toolbox, let's use it as much as we can. And if we um, exhaust everything that we can do, um, then we move on, I think, to the next project. We can still certainly work on both, but 
Um, we're hoping that we can get something put together at Weight Watchers. Um, anything on the, from the uh, P and Z, Peter? Is, uh, is Dan here? I don't think I don't think Dan's on the call today. Um, they they didn't uh, they didn't they were going to have a meeting uh, earlier this week. We canceled it for lack of uh, activity. Um, their next meeting is July 21. Also a pretty light agenda. Um, so they normally cancel one or two of those meetings in July and August anyway. So it's okay. par for the course. Yep. Judy, tourism. I have to unmute. Okay. Tourism, um, there was not a whole lot going on. There was a decision not to do um, as many ads um, in the uh, uh, newspapers or whatever, and just use up what we have for um, uh, ma uh, maps and kiosk, uh, uh, you know, little brochures. The cards, yep. The kiosk is coming at the corner of uh, Church and Main Street. Um, so that will be there and there will be signage, uh, you know, little brochures in there as well to tell people about the uh, shops and whatever. The map looks beautiful. Um, Phil Lohman did it and it's just almost done. So um, that's really good. Uh, now they're talking about how do we edit it if new businesses open up and um, things like that. Um, the Historical Society is doing videos <coughs> about Weathersfield history to be on their website. So that was kind of neat. Um, and we're meeting on August 25th in a Zoom meeting. Anything else, Peter, that you think that I've missed? I think uh, just the Web Dean Stevens Visitor Center, Education Center is rapidly um, nearing completion. Um, so that will be um, nice to see see them uh, wrapped up in, in a finished uh, product there. I think they were, I think they're trying to get a CO before the end of uh, July. So um, uh, that, that's gonna be a very nice addition in, in Old Weathersfield. And by the way, uh, the barn, the uh, behind the Web Dean Stevens, uh, they are having what they're calling elopement weddings. So people that had a wedding planned and didn't happen, they can come with a few people, a few guests, and have a little bit of food. And again, it's called an elopement wedding. So kind of an interim wedding for a lot of people. I thought that was a neat idea. Yeah. So again, we'll be meeting on August 25th on a Zoom. Is that it, Jude? I think so. Great, thank you. Um, it, just on a side note, um, in running around uh, town, um, I, I can't, almost every time I'm out, I'll see somebody on the Heritage Walk looking at some of the signs and going through the whole thing. Um, I've definitely seen people international. You could tell from Europe, the way they were dressed, or um, um, from other parts of the, of the world uh, going through it. And you guys haven't done it. I, I lived in town for a long time, and I'm shocked on how much stuff I don't know uh, about Weathersfield, um, looking at a lot of that stuff. Very, very cool thing to do. Um, I have nothing to report. Um, subcommittee reports, marketing, communications, and financial strategies. Um, Pete, I don't know if we really have anything uh, from a marketing perspective at this point, um, do we? Nope, no, okay. nothing, nothing to report there. And financial strategies, I know we talked about looking at some stuff maybe a year ago um, on um, <coughs> tax relief, et cetera, and looking at that stuff, but we'll save that for, for another day. Um, our next meeting, guys, is scheduled um, um, actually, uh, Chamber of Commerce is not here either, right? Yeah, that's why I didn't do that. Um, so, um, our next meeting is uh, Thursday, August 13th. Our next meeting for, again, the moratorium, which Peter will get us data on for by, by the mid next week, is again Tuesday, July 21st at 9 a.m. So, hopefully, you guys can make that. Um, any correspondence, Pete? Sorry, no. So, Mark. So Mark 
uh, this is Deb Raymond. The chamber is here. Oh, I'm just on my phone. Oh. oh, there we go. That's okay. That's okay. You know what? I, I was listening. I, I'm away this week, so uh, we're working on a couple of things that I'd like to finish up before I report. But um, the thought of the, I'm just put a put a suggestion out there. We was going to um, we ask if the town was willing. We usually have quarter quarterly meetings with the town and we haven't because of so much going on and didn't want to overwhelm everybody. But we were going to ask that for our August meeting if the town officials could join us again. But I'm wondering if that might be a good time to do the meeting you were talking about with the businesses to update them as to what's going on. Because it might kill two birds with one stone. Just a thought if you want to think about that. Is this an in-person event? Um Deb, no, or is it, it would have, well, yeah, it would have to be a Zoom meeting. So quarterly, what we do is we have, you know, the, you know, P and Z there, Barry Gillette, uh, Peter Gillespie, Gary Evans, you know, um, Mr. Emmett, and we usually get a quarterly update. So again, we haven't done that because you guys are so, you know, overwhelmed with everything else. But just a thought that maybe we could add that in and maybe get it done all at once. I know that there are some businesses in town that I speak to, you know, I try, try to speak to regularly and, you know, they're really kind of struggling. So maybe that would be helpful. Just a thought. I'd be happy to open it up to that. You have a date for that, Deb? Did you say you had a date? It's usually the first Thursday of the month um, and it's uh, at 830 in the morning, but you know, we can accommodate whatever the majority thinks if, if you think it's a good idea. So that would be August 6th normally? Yeah, Looks like normally. It. Yeah. Okay. Is that too far out, Deb, at this point? Would I don't know. Do um, you know what? And honestly, we're, you know, our schedule, because of everything that's going on with the town and the chamber, you know, is, is not on task. So we, we could accommodate whatever we think, you know, I'm just think I could help organize that and, and, you know, get it out to the public or the, or the businesses at the very least. Um, Pete, do you, um, I mean, why don't we, why don't we look at, see what new um, surprises the state may have um, or maybe next week and maybe Deb, if it makes sense, maybe try to do something, Potentially, potentially, Peter, if it works for you and the town, maybe the week of the 20th, if we were going to do it, I think waiting to the 6th, you know, that's a month away. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Whatever you guys need, I'm happy to help coordinate. What are your thoughts? Anything going on that week, Pete, that might interrupt that potentially? Um, we can figure it out. I mean, it, it's, it looks like um, there's a couple of days towards the end of that week that would, would certainly work, maybe the Thursday or the Wednesday. Um, let me find out what I can with, with what's going on with the governor's um, uh, guidance on that and yep. see if, um, you know, we can time it appropriately. Okay. All right. I've got nothing else. Any other questions, guys? Thank you for being here. Any other questions, concerns, issues, answers? Judy has her I hand up. I have one question. I do have one question. Um, I, as I drive around town, I notice that it seems like the little signs, the sidewalk signs are breeding. Every place you go, there's little signs. And I, I, I don't know who um, is responsible for that, but it's tacky. You know, um, it does not present well for Weathersfield that we have power washing and um, everything advertised on the curbs. Peter, who, who is responsible for that? So if you're talking about, you know, the rogue guys who are trying to sell houses for sale, that kind of thing. Well, that too, but, but it's more small businesses now. Yeah, well, Judy, during this time and the struggles that businesses are facing, um, you know, we've taken a hands-off approach to that okay. so that they can okay. have as much exposure uh, as they can. Uh, additionally, the governor's executive order has basically um, it doesn't prohibit us, but basically provides businesses with the additional opportunities for signage so that they can okay. get the word out about what's going on, that they're open, that kind of thing. 
Um, it, I, I have to admit it will be challenging to get the genie back in the bottle once this is all over, but nevertheless, um, I, 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 when I drive down the Silestein Highway, I, I try to drive like this because it, it does, uh, it does, uh, it does look tacky and well, it's uh, in neighborhoods, been, neighborhoods too. So yeah, uh, but there okay. are others, there are others That's that fine. we are enforcing because uh, they're, they're, they're not supporting our local small businesses. They're just people who have decided to take advantage of it and tack stuff up on telephone poles. So we are, well, that's, yeah. we're, we are enforcing those, but the local businesses with the little lawn signs that I'm open, um, God bless them. And, you know, we hope people see them and they support their businesses. Yeah. I think most of what I'm seeing are not local businesses, but that's yeah, okay. That's, we'll wait. We'll wait. That's fine. Yeah. That's a different story. Okay. Those other ones. Yep. Yep. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Jimmy. You. Anybody else? All right, guys, enjoy your week. I appreciate the time, and uh, we'll see um, hopefully as met, uh, all of you on the 21st. Peace. Mo motion to adjourn. Yep. Please. Second. Second, third, and fourth. I appreciate that, Mr. Carson. <laughs> Adios. All right. Thanks, uh, everyone. Bye. All right. Have a good day.